Hey guys, Sabellin here. Today we are doing my review on Windows 10. So don't worry about OBS, it's just what I'm using to record right now. Uh, so my first impressions of Windows 10 when I first downloaded it was it's real, real snappy. It increased the performance on my laptop and my desktop web by quite a bit. Just because, I don't know, I think it's a lighter running operating system compared to, say, Windows 8 or Windows 7. Um, so you have the Windows 10 kind of style. You have your Metro kind of screen here with all your live tiles and you have your most used apps right here then all your apps are down here in the all apps section where you just have to scroll through them but if you don't like that and you're still used to windows 10 you can always do this you go into your settings here you go personalize then uh, start and then you click use start screen you give it a second and then you have your start screen the only thing is with uh, Windows 10, instead of scrolling to the side, it scrolls up and down, but I don't have enough apps to to show that right now, so I'm not, I don't like it compared to the start menu. Uh, so this is your new setting screen, you got your system and notification, or what was this one? System, display, notifications, and apps and power, so it shows your display, your resolution, and all the settings, multitask mode, tablet mode for touch frame if you're on like a 7 inch tablet or bigger not much bigger because once you're on 13 you don't need anything or you don't need that really your devices and all that uh, network, personalization, your background, your color and all that accounts, time and all that uh, Windows Update is now here in settings so Apparently, I have a Windows 10 update. That doesn't tell you the details, that's useful. But you also do still have your control panel, so you have all the, all the usual stuff here. On this computer, I am running Windows 10 Home. On my desktop, I'm running Windows 10 Pro. Uh, so, uh, it's just the bottom screen, you have the say Cortana. Let's do Cortana. Hello, Cortana. Oh, no, okay. Sing me a song, please. Oh, Susanna, oh, don't you cry for me, for I come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. Remind me right now that I need to change my oil. When would you like to be reminded? Uh, let's say in three minutes. Sure, I can remind you to I need to change my oil at 3.14 a.m. today. Sound good? Yes. Great, I'll remind you. So, you can also see it in your reminders list anytime. Yeah, so that should remind me in three minutes. Um, then you got your reminders right here. Uh, notebook. If you want to put that stuff around, then feedback if you really want to um then let's open google chrome foobar 2000 and microsoft word let's just open a blank document so you know how you always have your alt tab where you can just scroll through your menus like that now you have windows tab where you can say i want i want foobar 2000 play a song or you can do this. Let's say I want FUBAR 2000 up in this. Let's grab FUBAR 2000 and put it. Let's say I put it there. I got Word. I need it on this side. I need a bigger screen. Let's put Google Chrome here. And let's say I want to watch a YouTube video. And there. You get YouTube. You get your music. Then you got your on the side to say right away write a paper for school or something. Um, so 
Yeah, you can. You have all the four corners. You can do that in every corner, or you can just have it a big or in full screen mode. So let's close that. Let's close. Don't save and close food bar. Minimize that. Next thing you got um, is your notification center. So you got all your emails. I have my Gmail set up, so. Then you have this, you got, like on your Windows phone, you got your tablet mode, battery saver, you can enable that, disable that when you're on battery, you got your internet, quiet hours so you don't get notified anything, VPN, see, Cortana, I need to change my oil, thank you, yeah, I don't really need to change my oil, that's just all I could think of, uh, then you got notes, so I need to write a note, it opens one thing, or one note. I have yet to set this up apparently. Okay, well that well that goes. Uh, okay. Yeah. So then you got all settings, Bluetooth, location, airplane mode. I don't have three sixty five. There. This is a note. learn how to spell there we go and there 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 I have a note then all my all this was some testing I was going to make for a video but it didn't work or I didn't feel like it I don't remember what this was for oh it was no I don't remember okay um so that's that then let's see what else is there um oh let's show you Microsoft Edge just let's show you the new browser. So this is the browser that's included in in uh, Windows 10. So it tells you everything. Uh, type the address right in the in the address bar for instant search. Uh, some news, weather, sports. A lot of new. Wow, there's a lot of news. Explosion at Amish at Amish Farm worsened by delay of 911 call. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. Look, final version of Windows might be the best version ever. Let's click on that. Let's read about this. It takes me to MSN. Let's say I want to read something on, let's say, line, line is tech tips. Let's say I want to go there. Sadly, it uses Bing, but I guess it works. You can always change that, I'm sure. So, if I remember correctly, what is this? Okay, well, anyways, let's say... Let's say I wanted to make a note. Let's do this. Read. There. And exit. Okay. Well, I forgot to save that. Next thing you got is let's go to a general forum post. General discussion. Let's just say show off your setup. Let's just let's look at this person's setup. That's pretty cool, I guess. It's very tidy for cables, that's for sure. Let's do this. Let's go into reading mode. And it makes it so there's no clutter around. It shows you the pictures and all that. It's quite nice, actually. So let's close that. Get out of reading mode. It just takes away all the advertisements and all that. Let's see what else there is in Google in this F12 developers whoa okay performance let's click on control okay well, I'm not a fan of, yeah so it's not what I use I use Google Chrome on this computer because 
It's just, I like it, I'm used to it more than that. It has all my stuff saved, so let's say... It, Google Chrome works too, it works really well. But if you're looking for a uh, less memory hogging internet, uh, internet browser, I would recommend Firefox. It's just a lot smoother. So, all the, uh, or this is the new, well not really new, this is the updated file full file explorer. We've got quick access so you can pin stuff there, it adds all these extra shit when you access them quite a bit. Uh, all, a lot of the logos have changed and all that. I'm running my uh, SSD in here. You probably seen the up or the video but uh, if you look in the top right corner there's an eye there's a little eye up here that will have a link to it and it will have a link to my uh, custom desktop build I think yeah so hope you guys enjoyed this video please remember like comment and subscribe if you like this video like it if you dislike dislike and leave a comment below what you'd like me to change so thank you and goodbye